Hey, what's good? Champions, Arian Tyson here. Just wanted to shoot this quick video. And I want to tell you that to be careful of confusing ego with talent. Let me share with you why this is important. Because one thing that I'm discovering is people are confusing talent with ego. One thing about ego, having too much ego will kill your talent. Did you catch that? Having too much ego will kill your talent. Why, why do I say that? Because what you must realize is that talent is important, but it's not enough. Hard work doesn't beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. Talent is important. Hard work is important. But hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard at all. But the reason that talent is so important is because talent is God-given. And I don't care if you if you refer if you refer to God as God or or Yah or the universe, whatever you whatever, if you believe in a higher power, that's where your talent comes from. It's it it's God in this case, it's God given. Okay? It's God given. Look at it like this. Talent is God given. Fame is man made, is man given. And conceit is self given. You gotta be careful about that. And conceit goes along the sides of, e of ego. So look at it like this. When you realize that talent, that the talent that you have is God given, you learn how to be humble. When you realize that fame is man given, you better learn how to be grateful. And when you realize that conceit is self given, you better be careful. Very important. And then finally, what you must understand above everything else is that when it comes to talent, not ego, talent, because your talent requires you to be humble. Here's what I know about talent. Your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with your talent is your gift back to God. I'm going to say that again. Your, your talent, your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with your talent is your gift back to God. And it just hit me. Last night, it hit me. As I was doing some studying, it hit me. And I was like, wow, that is awesome. That is powerful. Because at the end of the day, our talents is how we're able to be a blessing to others. And what is the purpose of having all this talent if nobody sees it? If nobody can experience it? If nobody can appreciate it? Because you're so scared to show it. And, I, and I've said it repeatedly. Fear is for suckers. It really is. Because we're not supposed to operate in fear. Especially if you say that, you know, God is on your side. Okay, you can't operate in fear and then say God is on your side. That doesn't make sense. Because he gave you what's in you. He placed what's in you. And when you are in, in a situation, when you're in an environment where you're being nurtured, where you're being fed and you're being, you know, given positive energy and you're really able to embrace and see, see what you are and walk in that boldly, then that energy is infectious, whether it's positive or negative. But at the end of the day, don't let your ego kill it. I've seen it happen in relationships. I've seen it happen in, in business. I've seen it happen in ministry. You can't do that. You can't do it. But just know, whatever you do or don't do, there's a price for it. There's a price for it. The question is, are you willing to pay that price? So don't let, don't confuse ego with talent because they're not the same 
And remember, your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with that talent is your gift back to God. I wanted to share that with you. I'm feeling good on this Sunday. If you got value from it, feel free to leave me a comment. Feel free to share, share this video with someone. And then remember, in life, you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. It's yours truly, Arian Tyson, the Moving Motivator, and I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.